Yes, Tony here. Welcome back. We have, uh, I am trying my best to get these videos out to you guys, but the chain of events at my house has just been off the chain here lately. Uh, let me go through some of the stuff. So you, you guys that watch my videos know I'm trying to sell my house or my wife and I are trying to sell our house and uh, showings are just nonstop. So by the time I get home from work, get the house picked up, I am in the truck with the kids, going somewhere, getting out of the house. So, you know, these people can look at the house. I mean, we're doing like two or three a day. I thought for sure that we would have an offer by now, but we do not. So that's one of the reasons I'm out right now on the motorcycle. It happens to be Saturday. My wife is up at the country club with the kids at the pool and we have a showing and I was like, I'm out. I'm getting on the bike and I'm out. I am riding today. Uh, I need it. I'm, I'm, I'm out. So with that also this went down last Friday uh, I am doing a woodworking project in the garage for my wife she wanted a new kitchen table so I am oh well, I was or I did uh, build a, a live edge kitchen table for which you guys that I don't know if you know or not but it is basically a big two inch slab of wood with an actual live bark edge on it and uh, I was working on that so Thursday night, I'm working on it in the garage. Uh, I close the garage door, I uh, go in the house, I don't know, 10.30 or so, and that was it. Next morning, I wake up, the garage door is wide open. Obviously, it hit something on the way down and decided to go back up. And somebody had stolen all of my tools out of the garage. And my new helmet, my showy helmet, and the GoPro mounted to it, which was on the sissy bar. The helmet was you know, on the sissy bar of the, of the motorcycle and they just took the helmet and the GoPro just happened to be in it and a Bluetooth speaker. So luckily they didn't bother the bike itself or any of the mechanics tools. It was all power tools and the helmet. So needless to say, I had to turn that into homeowner's insurance. I'm still waiting to hear back from them, but I did have to go out and replace the helmet and the GoPro, which as you guys know, is about a thousand bucks to replace these things. So it uh, it it it, it kind of sucked. But anyway, I am recovering from that. So all the parts that you know I was uh, had coming in that I was going to order has kind of been put on hold, at least for a few weeks until I hear what insurance is going to help me and uh, see what they're going to do for me because like I said I had to sink a lot of money into replacing a lot of stuff so I'm just going to have to see how what insurance is going to do for me but we will see so I'm trying to get these videos out guys but uh, like I said it's been an unfortunate chain of events at my house here lately so but today I am riding so life is much better it is hotter than hell out here though about 95 I think the heat index today is supposed to be in about 108 110 so it is hot but on the flip side I will say I know I sound like a broken record on this but every time I ride this slim I'm more and more impressed uh, for you guys that watch my moto vlogs you know last week I went out on a was it last week no it was the 4th of July I went out on a a pretty long ride it was about 150 200 miles by the time I, it was all said and done so first real long ride on the slim and it just so happened last week Mac, uh, John Maxwell and Blockhead did a video uh, a video together on you know what's the big difference between the 2018 soft tails and the older Dinas and whatnot and how you know what's the ride difference the ride difference is unbelievably better and I can't contribute the difference to one thing on this bike unfortunately I can't look at you and go it's the Milwaukee 8 that's the reason the bike's better because it's not or it's the new suspension that's the reason the bike rides so much better well that's part of it but that's not it either I think it's it's a collection of all these little things together that makes this bike so much better and so much more comfortable on the longer rides. I think it is the Milwaukee 8 with the counterbalance, smoother running, oil-cooled head, so it's cooler around your legs. It's not so hot in the crotch. 
you know the new suspension so much smoother so much more responsive than what was on the older soft tails uh, just everything mixed together I mean it's just for longer rides anything over 20 30 miles on the expressway it's just unbelievably comfortable this bike is which you know I don't I don't get it but it really is I got an itch but I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm just kind of rambling. Uh, like I said, the, the motorcycle stuff has been a little bit on the, in the back seat here lately with the sell of the house and the build of the new one and then having a bunch of stuff stolen. I just haven't had the time I would like to dedicate, but I am trying to find it. So I really don't have a lot of motorcycle news today. It's just like this rambling just rant which I don't even think it's I don't even think it's coherent I don't even think it makes sense but anyway I, I did it so there you go you know I hope you enjoyed the video <laughs> but uh, like, <laughs> I guess that's really all I got guys so uh, like always I appreciate you guys tuning in and really let me waste your time on this one uh, if you liked it give me that thumbs up if you haven't subscribed smash that subscribe button right over there uh that would be great i would appreciate it and like always guys until next time ride safe and be careful out there later <laughs>